Well, what's happening here is I'm stringing a very old wooden racket, um, which is owned by the National Trust at Hidcote Manor Gardens. A couple of years ago, Jackie and I visited Hidcote Manor. It's near Chipping Camden. Um, and one of the things they've done there is they've rebuilt the, the tennis court. It's a lovely tennis court right in the middle of the gardens and it has a beautiful uh, thatched pavilion. Um, and they allow people to play on it and they've got some wooden rackets you can use, which is terrific fun. Um, but sadly, what I noticed was that a lot of the rackets had broken strings. So during lockdown, I thought, well, I'm not doing anything. The stringing machines aren't doing anything. Um, so I wrote to them and said, would they like me to, um, to restring them? And I said I would do them at, at just the cost of the string. And they said, yes, thanks very much. As a result of which I got, uh, I think it's 15 rackets to do, varying in age probably from 1930s to 1960s. Differences from stringing a contemporary racket and, and not as many as you might think. Um, in terms of pattern, the biggest difference is that although the wooden racket had a smaller hitting area, it contains a great deal more strings. So a lot of these have a 20 mains, 22 crosses pattern. Your modern racket will tend to be 16 mains, 19 crosses. Um, I've done these at very, very low tensions because obviously the, rate, the frames are old and, and quite brittle and I don't want them busting all over the place. Other than that, the, the main thing that you have to do, there's I suppose two things. One is you've got to make sure when you're doing your cross strings that you hit these, these grooves, which obviously a lot of people who've used wooden rackets will remember. Not actually as obvious on that one, but this one, you can see the grooves in the, in the side there, because if not, the string is proud and, and won't last very long. Um, and the other was the, um, the trebling. Um, these little uh, coloured strings um, that you always found at the top and bottom, and I wanted to find a way to do that. Um, interestingly, I did discover something I didn't know, which is that they were intended originally to, to stop the main strings moving. Um, they were usually coloured either red or blue, um, and also uh, the interesting thing with those is, which a lot of players wouldn't know, is it was also the call, the rough or smooth. So when you run your finger over there, it's smooth, over there it's rough. Nowadays, people use the knot, but the rough and smooth call was originally using the treble. Thank you.